Welcome. I am Chris Roebuck. I'm the founder and CEO of Live My Life Debt Free. I'm so excited to be here with you today um, and to have our guest mastermind, Generational Wealth Builder. But before I introduce her, just to uh, make you aware that je by joining our community, you are. This is a judge-free zone. Everyone here, we celebrate one another, and I invite you to join us. I'm, I, I would be love to meet you, and I'm excited um, that you have chosen to watch this video. So, what we're doing this year is we are celebrating generational wealth builders all year who are um, managing their their finances well. Um, they are following God's plan. They're staying the course. So, I have uh, a mastermind generational wealth builder who has been with us, this community since inception. It's been well over seven to eight years. Um, and I've watched her uh, and her husband just blow out. I mean, they just have just blown through um, every obstacle um, because they have done it with God's help. But I'm gonna give her the opportunity to, uh, to share with you today so get a pen and paper, take notes. I guarantee you there are gonna be nuggets that will definitely help you on your journey to financial independence. So I want to introduce my friend, um, my mentor, <laughs> Pastor Lisa Barnes, um, and she's gonna tell you about herself. I could tell you that she is a an outreach guru. She loves God, she loves his people, and she constantly uses her life um, to help people. She's an advocate as well for those who cannot speak for themselves. Pastor Lisa, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here today. Thank you for um, saying yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Good morning to everyone who's watching wherever you are in life at this on this morning. I'm so excited to be here. As uh, Chris, my friend, has shared, I am a mother, grandmother, I am an advocate, I am a business owner, but the adjective that I really want to stand out in my life this morning is that I am a lifelong learner. And I've found out on this financial journey that it is important to be a student. Um, I have a master's degree of which I'm very proud of. However, I needed to learn some things in the realm of finances. So if you remember anything, I am first and foremost a student. And I am excited to share my story about this journey. Awesome, awesome. I love that adjective, lifelong learner. Listen, we are never too old to learn. We should always um, be ready, be prepared to, for growth at any time. You know, listen, I have, I love that adjective, a lifelong learner. Um, I strive to learn something new every day. Um, like you, I have a couple of degrees, but I've not arrived. I want to learn and I need to learn and, and even make room for growth every single day. So um, I, and I wanna ask you a couple of questions because I know everyone wants to know, um, how did you crush your financial goals in 2022. And what does that all mean, crushing your goals? Yeah, yeah. Wow, so where do I begin? My goals for 2022 started with a five-year plan. So I have to take you back just a bit. And each year we built upon the successes of the previous years. So I have to say that it started with a plan. When we got into 2022, we built on the milestones and the successes of the previous two years. So to bring it all into context, when we first started on this financial journey, we didn't have a lot of debt, but our credit score was so low that we couldn't get a credit card and we were working with a secure card. So for the past five years, our goal was to increase our credit score. And what I'm most proud of that we crushed this year not just the numbers, but we crushed a mindset that we were in. We crushed the mindset that, because when we first started, Chris, we had to hide our credit cards. We had to put them up. So there was a mindset that if we had the credit card in our hand, that we were going to overspend. So the real challenge was discipline, 
understanding how credit worked. So this year, our goal was to crush that mindset. And what we did, there were some things we needed to repair in our home. And there were some major purchases for appliance. We'd been at our house for 10 years and we needed to spend some money, but we were so committed to our financial goals and to saving that we were afraid to spend. So we fixed some things and we were moving into a new season in, in our finances, but our mindset had us paralyzed. And one day we read an article in the lounge about how to manage your credit. And at this point, you're looking at two individuals who had gone from the low 400s, 500, to an 806 credit score. And, <laughs> and instead of receiving notices for collections and past due payments, we started over the last two years receiving great offers for credit cards. I mean, with no annual fees, you know, zero interest for a year, but our mindset needed to shift. We'd shake when we get it, we'd cut it up. But then with the mindset shift, and that was our goal, we now took these credit cards with a real strategic plan and leveraged which was the best card for us to use. So guys, listen to this, here's what we did. The money that we were already spending, we use these new credit cards with the new mindset to make purchases we were gonna make anyway. Yes. yes. Disciplined enough at this point to pay the debt off once we received the points on that credit card. I mean, we had a plan. Yes. So all of our spending on the cards, because again, our mindset had shifted and we crushed it. We weren't afraid of it anymore, Love right? It. I mean, we had some high credit balances mm -hmm. and walked in the newfound freedom, celebrating the fact that if they trusted us to give us this much credit, that we should trust ourselves. And we did, and we spent and we were paid, and we got enough points on those new credit cards to buy the major appliances without spending any of our cash. So we never altered our savings plan. We crushed that mindset. So now of us being bound, you know, when we think of credit, we're working in that generational wealth aspect and that newfound freedom because we are disciplined enough and we can finally trust ourselves to celebrate our credit journey rather than hide from it. And we are so excited. Wow. I mean, that is, that is just phenomenal. Oh my goodness. I hadn't even heard this part of the story at all. And I am just bursting right now with excitement and I celebrate you and Pastor Randall. And, you know, you have really brought something new to the, the community. Um, even though we often talk about, you have to change your mind to change your life. But I love what you said. You said that you came to, you came, you came with in with your plan, with the plan, but you also had a mindset that needed to be crushed. And you yes. crushed that mindset and created, uh, and I'm paraphrasing something new because you had create you had developed disciplines, financial disciplines. And I want everybody to take note of that because without the financial disciplines, there could be a whole nother set of debt with those credit cards if you had not been, um, if you had not crushed that mindset and then, uh, you know, to develop those, um, the, the plan that you had and the dis disciplines exercise, those disciplines needed not to charge those cards up again. And right. then smart enough to use the rewards, you know, to, that is what I call using other people's money. OP. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yes. But, but within everything that you said, you talked about the next question I was going to ask you as far as what caused you to be motivated to stay the course. Now you can share it. You can elaborate on that, but you said it in a nutshell. You know, you wanted to raise your credit score, you know, and this is this is a perfect example of what, you know, when I say, um, you know, that there is no matter how low your score is, there's always a way up. 
Yes. There is always a way, yes. but the, yes. it starts with the mindset that you mentioned. Yes. Crushing yes. the yes. mindset. I'm going to be quoting you on that in the in the uh, inside of the community because I think everybody. I don't care how many times we've heard it. We need to hear it again. And in this way, I can't wait for this for, wait for this video to um, to be published because it's going to really transform lives. So if you want to elaborate on what else caused you to stay the course, yeah. you can. Otherwise, we can yeah. go to the next question. And No, I'd I, I love to because one of the things I learned during this year was to transfer some skill sets from other areas of life. So what do I mean? So in the previous years, I was working on my weight and on my health. And on that journey, there were some skill sets that I had to develop as far as maintenance in my eating. Um, in order to avoid overeating, I would meal prep. Um, in order to avoid overeating in calories, I had to be really strategic when I went out to a restaurant. I did my research ahead of time to make sure that whatever entree I was gonna order, that it would fit into my calorie plan. And I would celebrate every milestone, every accomplishment during my weight goals. So when we started this challenge, we had to say, hey, we took a look at the skill sets that we use in that aspect of life. And we brought those same skill sets over to our financial management. A lot of times there are things we develop in life and my husband and I call it muscles that we've already built. And we brought those muscles over to the finance. And we would compare, well, how did we do this? We brought that same skill set now to our spending and how careful we were with the calories. So instead of calories, we started counting dollars. Mm -hmm. And wow, well, what, what a shift. Again, another mindset shift. Mm -hmm. We're really a lot further along in the process than we give ourselves credit for. If you could do it there, we realize we could do it here. Yeah. And we've done it here. We're looking at other areas of our lives where we could start flexing those same mental muscles, those disciplines. And I can't stress enough taking a moment to celebrate the accomplishments, right? Even yes. in some of those points, we were very strategic in using one credit card that would allow us to earn three times the points for travel. Because mm -hmm. we determined at the end of this journey, we were going on a trip because we had earned it. Yes. I put up pictures about the trip and we looked at, you know, destinations at where we were going and it kept us motivated all along the way. Yes. So again, using the same things we did for our weight loss and fitness journey, we brought it over to our financial journey. Mm -hmm. So I would to those of you, even if this aspect of life is new, go back into your life and find an area or a challenge that you had previously met right, that required, right. when required same, some of the same muscles and bring that mindset over into your new financial journey. And it's going to pay dividends because the mind records those celebrations, right? So go back and hit rewind, play back, keep rehearsing and bring that now over to this area of your life. Awesome. Awesome. Another great one. The mind records the celebration. You know, I'm really big on celebrating others. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I believe that everyone should celebrate their milestones no matter what. I mean, because after working so hard, you know, that you have to take a moment. I call it Take a moment and make sure you can find some place to make sure you leave room to horse around. That's, yes, a, that's, it. that's great. But, yes. but, you know, you I love that you said the mind records those celebrations. Powerful. Yes. Um, so last question. Last question. I, I love I love that the skill sets, the transfer, uh, the transformative tra uh, skill sets that you mentioned another i mean these are quotes that you will definitely see you know in in the community because it's just it's it's something that anyone can do if yeah. the mindset shift takes place you know yes. so 
These are things that are so common sense, counting dollars instead, instead of calories. I love that. Yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah, so that's power, powerful. Last, um, last question is, you know, I know that there are others out there that are probably saying that's all well and good. Um, it's almost March and you know, nothing has changed. I haven't gotten started. I, you know, just, just walked away from my New Year's, I call them New Year's revelations. Some say New Year's revolution, resolutions. They just walked away from them and it's just too late. There's, I can't, you know, I'm just in too deep or, you know, I, I just don't know where to start. And so I'm just not gonna do anything. What would you say to, know, to those individuals? Well, number one, it's never too late to get started. I can tell you who you can look out there in social media and see people who got a college degree at 95 and there's a bodybuilder who's popular on TikTok and she's 89 years old. And in the world of social media today, there's so much motivation. Search for it. If you're feeling a plateau or there's no cheerleader in your house, no one to say, go for it. Go borrow a cheerleader off of social media. Go somebody who's been successful and look at their page people are very transparent nowadays they're willing to share their story share their journey i will say this so oftentimes we are our biggest critic yeah. and you've got to give yourself some room for failure because failure is evident it's, you've got to give yourself permission to have one down day maybe you messed up a week but just get up and keep on going um there were some weeks where we felt like oh you know what we were a little bit discouraged we hadn't hit the milestone but then we said you know what just like when i'm driving down the highway and traffic is bumper to bumper and i feel stuck i start looking at my gps for a detour yeah. sometimes you've got to know how to just look for a detour get you around that one situation take an alternate route ask siri how do i get from point a to point b and don't be afraid to reach out to others in the community sometimes when i'm lost although i have a gps i don't mind picking up the phone and calling someone who lives in that area who is familiar with the terrain so what do i mean Call someone who's lived in that area where you are today, familiar with the grounds and say, hey, I'm stuck. Don't be embarrassed. I told you I have a degree, a master's degree. Mm -hmm. I'm a business owner and I'm not embarrassed to pick up the call, scroll through the blogs in the community, look at people's responses and comments, and I'm riding your coattail and you don't even know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're my inspiration and you may not even know it. I find cheerleaders all throughout the community, people who crushed it before me and I let them be the gauge for where I'm going. So realizing you're not in it alone. That's number one. Number two, there is more of us who are where you are than you realize. It's just you haven't heard all of our stories. See, if I didn't tell you, you would know that I was a part of the group of people who had credit scores as low as 500. So there's hope. So let me be your cheerleader. Let me be your inspiration. If you're stuck, go back to this video, play my story. The reason I'm telling the story is so number one, you know you're not alone. And number two, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I promise you. So, so be encouraged in that and know it's really your goal. You can adjust your goal as you move along. Right, when I was on my fitness journey, sometimes I didn't hit the goal for the week, but I adjusted the goal. And I changed the goal to be, you stuck it out this week, right? To keep myself encouraged and keep motivated. So I wanna challenge you that at any time, you can adjust your goal to what's gonna feel good for you for that week. We're not perfect, but we're striving. And what I used to tell myself, when I miss my goal, I don't shake, I shift. I didn't, shift. I didn't get discouraged. I shifted. I shifted to creating a new goal that would keep me encouraged for that week. So what I would say to you is, don't shake. We shift because you're going to get there. You're going to make it to destination because you're the one who set the destination and yes. to celebrate you because you stuck it out. 
and you stayed the course. And today I'm celebrating me because I did the thing. I did it. Awesome. And I'm excited about doing it. Awesome. I love it. Another one. Don't shake. Shift. <laughs> That's wonderful, it. wonderful. On that note, I mean, this that ends the the uh, I guess this fun chat that we've had. I mean, this is just, this is a growth chat. That's what I'm going to call it. But that ends it. Um, we can continue on for about an hour and do this. This is just this is really good stuff, and I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to just you know spend a few minutes with me. Uh, to, to just drop some powerful, powerful life-changing nuggets that will certainly bless so many. Um, so I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. Um, just keep your eyes open for uh, all of the quotes and nuggets in the, uh, the, um, in the newsletter. Uh, Lisa's going to be highlighted there So and on the website. So make sure that you take a moment to just hear more about her story. So listen, thank you so much, Lisa. It has been a pleasure. I have so enjoyed this and I hope that you will come back again sometime Absolutely. soon. Oh, and by the way, everybody, she is gonna be here in July. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that shameless plug in there. <laughs> so keep your eyes open for the conference, the VIP conference that is happening July the 21st and 22nd. So we'll, you'll hear more about that. But, but for right now, uh, we're going to just go ahead and sign off. Thanks again, Lisa. So Absolutely. Glad My pleasure. Us.